Saudi Arabia has hit a big jackpot. Lithium has been discovered in the country's oil fields. But what are oil fields? Oil fields are areas where oil reserves are trapped. When such an area lies beneath the land, it is called an onshore oil field. When it lies beneath the sea, it is called an offshore oil field. Oil is extracted from these areas. Saudi Arabia has many oil fields. In fact, the entire economy of Saudi Arabia revolves around oil and natural gas. The country has vast oil and gas reserves. And now, lithium has also been found in this oil-rich kingdom. Lithium reserves have been discovered in oil fields located near the sea. And Saudi Arabia is soon going to start commercial mining of lithium. Let's quickly look at the entire process of lithium production for better clarity. As we mentioned earlier, oil is extracted from oil fields. When oil and gas are extracted, a liquid comes out as a byproduct. This water-like liquid is called brine. Brine is a highly saline liquid. Saline means it has a high concentration of salts. So brine is a saline liquid that reaches the surface when oil and gas are extracted from underground reserves. It is saline because it contains minerals, dissolved salts and traces of hydrocarbons. So did you get what brine is? We are talking about brine because lithium has been found within it in Saudi Arabia. Soon, lithium will be extracted from this brine. So lithium is present in dissolved form inside the brine and Saudi Arabia wants to extract it. To achieve this, technologies for extracting lithium from brine are being developed in this country. This process is very complex because the brine contains many impurities that need to be removed. For example, minerals like calcium and magnesium. We only need lithium, so these impurities must be filtered out. To remove the impurities, processes such as filtration and ion exchange are used. The brine solution is first purified and then concentrated. Large ponds are constructed where the brine is stored for evaporation. Techniques like reverse osmosis can also be used to achieve concentration. So the first step was purification, then came concentration and after that is precipitation. After the brine is concentrated, chemicals are added to it to precipitate lithium compounds. These compounds such as lithium carbonate or lithium chloride are formed as precipitates. The precipitated lithium is then filtered and separated from the remaining brine solution. After filtration, a moist solid is obtained, which is dried to remove moisture. The dried solid is further purified to obtain high purity lithium compounds. If needed, chemical treatments or thermal processes are applied. Finally, after doing all this, the end product is high purity lithium carbonate or lithium chloride. So, did you see how much effort is required to produce lithium? Purification, concentration, precipitation, separation, drying and treatment it's such a complex, time-consuming and expensive process. Lithium is produced after investing significant time, effort and expenditure because its demand and importance are incredibly high. As we know, lithium is often called white gold. As we are trying to move away from fossil fuels, the importance of lithium continues to grow. It is increasingly being seen as a replacement for oil and traditional fuels. This critical mineral is emerging as a key energy source. Currently, lithium-ion batteries can be found in almost every electronic device, laptops, smartphones and even electric vehicle batteries. Lithium is everywhere, making it an essential component of our daily lives. Given its significance, this latest discovery is a major milestone for Saudi Arabia. We have discussed that Saudi Arabia's economy has been long dependent on oil. And with the world transitioning away from fossil fuels, the country is actively working to reduce its reliance on an oil-based economy. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is spearheading efforts to diversify the economy under his Vision 2030 initiative. Until now, the wealth of the kingdom has been heavily reliant on oil. But with this new discovery, Saudi Arabia has found a new treasure. The discovery of lithium has the potential to be a true game changer for the country. Saudi Arabia is already developing non-oil sectors to reduce its dependence on oil revenue. Significant investments are being made in renewable energy projects. By promoting solar and wind energy, Mohammed bin Salman aims to position his country as a leader in clean energy. 
industries such as tourism, technology, entertainment and manufacturing are also being actively promoted. You may have heard about Saudi Arabia's futuristic Neom City project, which is part of the Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030. This initiative seeks to transform the country into a global hub of innovation, technology and sustainability. Efforts are underway to reduce reliance on oil revenues by focusing on renewable energy, tourism, technology and advanced industries. Additionally, steps are being taken to attract global investments and foster innovation. In this context, the discovery of lithium is nothing short of a blessing for Saudi Arabia. Lithium offers an alternative revenue source for the country, boosting its mining sector. This discovery is expected to attract investments from companies involved in electric vehicles and renewable technologies, further strengthening Saudi Arabia's economic diversification efforts. Lithium is a critical mineral for clean energy. With this discovery, Saudi Arabia will aim to become a global supplier of lithium, a leader in the renewable energy market and a developer of its own EV sector. Having access to raw materials domestically will facilitate local battery production, aiding Saudi Arabia's clean energy transition. As an established oil supplier, this Middle Eastern country will gradually transition into a clean energy powerhouse. Once its lithium production becomes commercially viable, Saudi Arabia will compete with other major lithium producers such as Australia, Chile and China, striving to dominate the global race for this critical resource. The lithium discovery will reshape the geopolitics of the region and beyond. Saudi Arabia's neighbours, the UAE and Qatar, are also diversifying their economies, but the discovery of lithium will give Saudi Arabia a competitive edge. With lithium reserves, the Middle East, a region traditionally known as an energy hub, will evolve into a hub for clean energy and critical minerals. This development will likely lead to new alliances and heightened competition. Collaboration in mining and technology sectors among Gulf Cooperation Council members could emerge. Controlling a critical resource like lithium will enhance Saudi Arabia's geopolitical leverage on the global stage, shifting the balance of power in the Middle East in its favour. Today, countries across the globe aim to control lithium supply chains because lithium is the gateway to a sustainable future. Therefore, not only intra-regional but also beyond the region, many countries such as India and China with ambitious renewable energy goals will seek to deepen their ties with Saudi Arabia. Naturally, Saudi Arabia will leverage this advantage. However, looking at the other side, the discovery of such a critical resource can also lead to conflicts and rivalries. Power dynamics may shift and dynamics within OPEC could change. The clean energy transition might alter Saudi Arabia's role within OPEC, since the organization's primary focus is oil production and export. The discovery of lithium, however, could reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil. Consequently, Saudi Arabia's economic power and influence would increase. This shift could put pressure on neighbouring countries like Iraq and Iran, which are OPEC members heavily reliant on oil. Such developments might create geopolitical tensions. Moreover, lithium extraction will undoubtedly have adverse environmental impacts, as its production requires significant water resources, causes pollution and destroys habitats. Balancing environmental sustainability with economic interests will be a considerable challenge for Saudi Arabia. Thus, while there are clear advantages to this discovery, there are also significant downsides. Saudi Arabia will need to navigate these challenges carefully. If Prince Salman succeeds in managing this transition effectively, the discovery of white gold could prove to be a jackpot for Saudi Arabia, propelling its dream of transitioning from oil rigs to EV battery production.